could turn this light on for a quick flash. That's better. That'll help for a minute anyway. As you can see, I didn't do the dishes, but don't tell me I'm burnt. This is my, my dear Boston fern. That's not surviving very well. <laughs> you gonna come on the way all the way around? Mm -hmm. This is our extra fridge that shouldn't really be here, but it is. And you're back to the living room if you come on this way. I bet this looks ugly. Okay. okay. See, and then you're back in the living room. It's kind of a big circle here. You did you show the pictures on the wall here again? I said no. quote pictures. Show that for one quickie minute and then we'll go. Okay, here there's, we go. There's pictures. These are ones that we bought in New Orleans a few years ago. Little old man was painting them out there on the sidewalk. And of course we like both, so we thought they were neat. Okay. Okay, this isn't we'll quite a Jacqueline Kennedy's tour of the White House. But I'm going to stop now. Okay, we'll see you guys later at the boat. This is my Honda Magna. It says it does 150 on the speedometer, but it doesn't do that with me on it. <laughs> I'm not so sure, John. <laughs> Here's Pat's car. We'll let her tell you about her car. Turn around for a minute and show my door. Our door's OK, open. hold on. We're going to stop. Our door and as you can see it's really sunny and hot and it doesn't seem right to have uh, Christmas down here when it's 75 degrees they have a Christmas program going on over at the pool right now I don't think you can hear the music but it seems kind of strange to summertime and it's Christmas <laughs> what can I say this is making me nervous I don't know why tell us about your car this is my car I bought something new for it today. This is a makeup mirror that goes in the sun visor with the little lights and all that. Huh. It's a Christmas present for the car. We need you to drive so I can take pictures. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Okay. Turn it off. That's good. Can you turn it off? No, that's good. Here it comes. Yeah. Tell us about where we're at. Shoney's where mom and dad stopped and they ate that night when they were coming uh -huh. to visit us. And then right up ahead here is where we're going to turn to go to St. Simon's Island. And I, you can see the sign that says St. Simon's Island. Mom and dad will be surprised to see how well that big highway and bridges have come since they were here last year. They're going to, they've got like till fall of 85 to get the whole thing completed, but they're doing really good. Okay, we got this light to go through and the next light up here to turn. Right up here. There's also the, the St. Simons Island, Sea Island Welcome Center right here. Okay, you can see all the flags. We got the red light now, so it'll be a minute. You have to dig out 35 cents because that's the toll on the bridges over here to get to the island. Is this the... This is the, what, the Golden Isles Parkway? Is that what they call it? Hmm? Uh -huh. Can you read the sign? Real clear, yeah. Can you? That's good. Let's get it as we go around the corner here. We should get a green light in a minute. That'll be me. The sun is going to be down, going down in a few minutes, and it'll look like a really pretty sunset tonight, I think. Okay, here we're going around the bend now. Okay, here we go. Mom and Dad will remember this part. There it is, St. Simon's Island, Sea Island. Can you get it? I oh, already did. I oh. did well. A okay. lot of it while we were waiting at the light. Okay, that's good. Now we're going across the causeway. It's four miles, it says, across here to the island. 
across a couple, three bridges, intercoastal waterway and a couple rivers or whatever. This guy in front of me is going so slow. Of course, I guess we want to go slow to film a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take, take it off until we get over there. Okay, take it off. When we get up near the bridge over here a couple miles, get the new causeway built in here, this four lane that they're getting ready to build, and the traffic conditions will be a lot better going back and forth to the island. Right now, when you take the boat under the bridge, you have to stop the traffic to raise the bridge. We thought that was really neat to do that. After all the times, we've had to stop for boats. And it was finally neat to get to be the one on the boat making the traffic stop. Okay, I'm going to stop it again now. Okay. Here it comes. Now we're coming up on the bridge that another portion of it that they're rebuilding for the causeway as well. We've got to put 35 cents in here in just a minute. And then we go across the bridge. Sailing out in the inland waterway. It's a nice day for sailing. Yeah, looks like we had an accident here. I don't know how bad, but it's a wrecker and this car is off the road. This is not much of a big deal, I guess. We can't get these to come in clear. that's over the inland waterway will be the new route for the inland waterway right here under this one. It doesn't look high enough for our boat, but it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's it's 65 feet right there underneath the center of it. Sure don't look like it, does it? But then a lot of them didn't look like it when we were coming up from Florida either. Okay, that's enough of that. Line and Hesse's is the name of the uh, village that they're building over here around the uh, boat docks. The name is taken from a, uh, an old touring boat that used to tour between St. Simons and Jekyll Island. This is where we wanted to take Mom and Dad to dinner that one night. That It was like a two and a half hour wait that night they were down here. They didn't have all these extra shops and stuff built on to it at the time, but anyway, it's, it's the most popular place around here to go because it's on the water and you can look out at the boats while you're eating dinner and all that. Here we are. Okay, we'll stop till we get down. Here's our boat. The one with the tallest mast. I'll be down there to her in a minute. Hey, Pat. What? Say hi. Hi. Come on, I want to go down to the boat. Okay. Wild Goose Chase. She sets just a little high in the water right now. We haven't got her ballasted accurately. Just a minute, we'll go on board. Here we are a little bit closer. Yeah, it's it's got all the winter dirt on it. So... 
Really? I get to be a star? Yeah. Well, tell me about this boat. Tell me about this boat. I think everybody's heard about this boat. When they think of John and Pat, they think of this sailboat they hear about all the time. Anyway, this is it. It's neat. It's really great. We had a lot of fun on it. A lot of crazy experiences. Last Christmas this time, well, a week from now, last Christmas, we were sailing up the inland waterway and Long John underwear. <laughs> gloves and hats and everything else because it was so cold even in Florida where we were. Sheila had made us a little wreath with candy on it and we had it hanging out in the front of the boat. Kind of neat. Got pictures of it. Anyway, the sun's going down. It's actually gorgeous out here right now. It's probably about 75 degrees right now, I would think. Maybe even warmer than that. John went golfing today. He just got back and came down to do this. Not bad. Christmas week, you know. <laughs> Come on and tell us about the boat. Okay, what do you want to know about it? Well, let me go up here somewhere where I can get... You should tell us about the boat. Okay, I'll stop this and... Yeah, do that and let me let you tell us about the boat. Okay, you can start up here. Turning green. Yep, now you faded in. <laughs> I forgot how to work this thing. What little I did know, I forgot. Hi, John. Hi, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Probably can't because... We've got some planes going over, a little bit of extraneous noise, but, uh... Whoops, I did something wrong. Fade, that was an instant off. Oh, I don't know, I hit the wrong one. I forgot which ones are which again. it's green on there now. Hmm? Yeah, it's green. It's not supposed to be. Uh-oh, then what did I do? Hit the green button, not, not, not the orange one. Hit the green button. Okay, there we go. somebody working on the engine which is down here on the floor and um, like down in here go ahead and lift it up yeah oh. oh that's a hard one oh john i'll leave it down never there. mind anyway that's what the engine is and the guy was fixing it and there's oil and dust all over but since this is the last day we got a chance to show you our boat we thought we'd do it anyway dirt and off kitchen, or the galley, I guess as you call it. Shows up real bright. Huh? Does it? Yeah. You'll see all the dirt. Dishes we didn't do. These are our boat cups Rhonda got us last year. This is our little stove. It's on a gimbal, so it swings back and forth as you go up and down the waves. I should know oh, it's got water on there, though. And this is, can go you ahead. not see it? Yeah. These are the glasses Katie got us. Remember those? Uh-huh. Those are neat. Anyway, come on back here to our next room. We have all these rooms on the boat here. And um, there's probably enough room here to sit about eight people at the table. Both these sides come up like this. You're not showing the table. So the table all mixed out. Okay, both these sides come up, so it makes this table as big as the one in your kitchen at home. And you got enough room to sit a whole bunch of people, and you could sleep one, two, three, four people in here. This room back here is also where we've got sails right now, but that also sleeps three people. There's three bunks in there. Don't, don't show it too close, because it's all dirty in there. Bad time to show you the boat, winter time. Anyway, we're going to redo all the interior and get the cushions all recovered, probably like in a red and blue nautical color. There's our stove. Or our big time furnace. That's the bathroom, but it's a real mess in there right this now. This right here is the wind chime that Tammy gave us last year. Where you got? There you are. We always have that hanging in here. Okay. As you go up and down the waves, it makes music. Anyway, let me take you in the other part. If I can get over there. Side. You can show them the little way. Let me. I'll let you show them the bathroom. No, they don't need. It's, well, it's that's kinda... important. It's got a bathroom. It's got a shower. No, I just let them see the sink real quick. Does have a bathroom? This is bad news. 
Here, take this for a minute, would you? Huh? Throw that out. Throw that over the side. Okay. There, I did. Okay, we're coming around. Here's the bathroom. Just not the floor. I got all those water bottles on the floor. Okay, we got a lot of cupboard water. space in the kitchen, in the galley here. We got all kinds of food storage and extra storage underneath the stove. It's got a little we refrigerator. Got more food in here than we do at home. At home, really. We take the boat out on. You decide to stay for a week. You got, you know. Any time. Can go too. Here's something you'll all be familiar with: a messy bed. <laughs> That's this, the master this is, stable. Yeah, the master one. Let me squeeze past it. And over here is another. This is the nav station. This is where you got all your charts and Keep radios all your maps when in they're there. in here. And maps are all in here. Here's the bathroom. Whoops, we got water bottles there. I always need water bottles. Got a nice little shower in it. And, uh, Pretty nice little. Best part of the best part of the boat, having the bathroom and shower and all that stuff. This don't sound so good. We did good on the best on our food. No, we're we're, we're doing all right. Are then, we doing then okay? coming out up the galley, out of the galley up the steps, we can see the marina again. Okay, have we seen enough of the boat now? I suppose as dirty as it is. Next time, folks, we'll okay. show you it all cleaned and redone. Stopping now. Okay. Hi. Now we're back outside on the boat. Are we? Yep. Okay. You seem dark. I can't see you very well. Well, that's because my face doesn't have any sunlight on it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I zoomed out, but it's as far as it'll go. Anyway, so anyway we took you down in the boat. Yep. We're trying to do this so professional. <laughs> I feel like I'm stumbling on words. Anyway, you should have seen the first one we did. We should have always saved that one. It was yeah, hilarious. This, this one won't be bad. I hope not. This is the marina. This is where we come down and sit on the boat and take it out. Go play in the water. You can see, well, you can't see Jekyll Island from here. You can, but not through the camera from where we're at. Are you at. showing them some of the other boats? Yeah, just down through there. I'm probably moving too fast. Yeah. The freeway, I mean, the, the causeway we were just coming over over the bridges on is right, right there. If you look close, you can see some of the cars going over the bridge. Let's see, I could zoom in a little closer. It's like they do on CBS, zoom you in to the action spots. Now there's no cars, just because I wanted to show you. Turn on around, show them St. Sunflowers, uh, Emmeline and Hesse's from the okay. water here. All right, we'll come back around this way. And back around here to where Emmeline and Hesse's restaurant is, way over there in the distance. You see that construction? That's where they're building like a hotel, and they call it a boatel, where you can pull in and park your boat here, coming up the inland waterway, and stay overnight, and all that. This is all part of Emmeline's from the water view. That part of the restaurant looks dark in the camera. I'll zoom in for a minute but it's all windows down the whole side and you can sit in there and look out at your boat. Now you can see it a little better. I don't think they open on Sunday till about five and it's only, it's getting close to five now though. But you sit in there and it's just really pretty looking out over at the boats. That was kind of our dream, be able to come down here, sit in there and look out at our boat. Anyway, I don't know if you can see the sunset, but it's really starting to get pretty out there. Let's stop now and go over okay. to the... Okay. Yeah. That, that sun will come out real blinding on the camera pad. Will it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a boat coming in. Let's get a little bit of an action shot here. This boat coming in to dock. It'd be funny to see us doing it. We come in and John's such a good driver though. He parks it right in here. But they don't give you any more space than you get with cars for parallel parking to dock your boat in here. Especially if you've got a lot of waves and current coming through here, which, which seems to happen most of the time when we're taking it in. 
Anyway, so much for the boat coming in. We won't. Go stop it? Yeah, we're stopped now, and then we'll come back on over on the island. See ya. Okay. Fading out? Yep. Here we're it? fading in, yes. It says Brockington Plantation. Let me get the little arches there. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. That looks neat. Okay, this is the entrance way on the island here to where we bought a condominium. This is just through the car window looking out. The sun's going down already too, so it'll be a little dark. It's pretty down through here. Okay, I'm gonna stop a minute because I'm not seeing anything. We're right over here to your side where, where Oh yeah. This is it. They've cleared all these trees out already that were in here. Huh. Sounds like they're working at it now. I hear something. There's the sign. Looks like mud right now, Jeff. Yeah. That's all there is. All looks there. I'm gonna fade out. Okay. Okay, we're in the village of St. Simon's Island. Mom remembers when we came down here. Remember, Mom? We bought your candle right in there. Okay, we're going to try and get the sun set. It's almost gone, but we're going to try and get it down here at the pier, looking across at Jekyll Island. Not many people down here right now. This camera keeps focusing in and out because of the light. Here's the new condos they built right oh, on the waterfront. Oh, oh yeah. That is pretty. There's the ships. Oh, wow. You can't tell on the camera, you know, because it's black and white you're seeing through here. I bet that's pretty. Stop a minute and I'll put the window down. We got the trash can here, John. I can't do it. I'm going to fade a minute. Okay. Am I on? Yeah. Okay. We are gorgeous sunset. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And across the way is Jekyll Island. We're standing out on the pier here at St. Simon's Island. Just come down here and just get the lawns out in front here. Then it'll be pretty. What they've done to these condos. I'm fading out. That almost looks like it's just fading. So pretty, though. It really is. Can you hear the waves? Yeah. Am I in the way? No. Tell us about... Can, can you see Jekyll Island right there? Yeah, it almost, clear. It's close enough that you could, you know, you think you could swim across to it. But it's really not that close. It's really pretty, though. Someday we'll take you over to Jekyll Island. Show you what that's like. Oh, these bugs are really bad for some reason right here. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Okay. It's a gorgeous sun. I hope scene. it comes out. This is so pretty. You say you have it on? Yeah. What a nice finale to our little film, everybody. George Perot would be proud of us. <laughs> End the day with such a pretty sunset. That is really pretty. Well, we want to wish.
wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this is our Christmas card from St. Simon's well, Island. From St. Simon's Island, Georgia. We'll get better at this, folks. <laughs> Too bad it's not our sailboat out here going by, huh? The sun is starting to go behind the bottom of this cloud. Oh, my head is just... Well, that's all for now. Look at that piece of stuff coming up on the sun. is the sun going down. Are we back on? Yeah. We're back again for a minute. The sunset's too beautiful to stop. So pretty. I just hope it's this pretty on film. <laughs>